In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate dies on your Quant Studio 5. If that's what you're trying to do, you're going to quant to watch this. David and his puns. They are great, aren't they? Am I right? So what you're going to do is you're going to buy a, a couple of calibration plates for the Quant Studio 5. There's two kinds. If you buy a Quant Studio 12, you can buy plates that just have one die on them. But for the Quant 5, they have two plates that they sell, and each plate has a mixture of dies. And these are the only two plates you can use to calibrate this unit. You'll see what I'm talking about. So if you click on settings, and you click on maintenance and service, and then you click on calibrations. Um, okay, so you'll see here where it says ROI and uniformity, die, history and custom. ROI stands for regions of interest and uniformity. That's making sure the camera is on the well. There's a plate you can buy for that. So if you click here, click reagents here, you can input the specific lot numbers and the part numbers of the part that you bought. And then once you're ready, you can hit start over here and you can start that process. Um, for the dies, you click here and you can see there's die plate one here and die plate two. These are the only two plates you can use. You cannot use single die plates on this instrument. So the first plate has Fam, Vix, Rock, Cyber, and Tamara. The second plate has Abby, June, Mustang, Purple, Ned, and Sci-5. You would select the plate, you would hit next, you can put in your plates, and then the machine will automatically calibrate. If you wanna see you know, past uh, results, you can click on history reminders, and you can see like this was the last time the ROI was done, this was the last time uniformity was done, these are the last time the die plates were calibrated. And you can click on each of these and you can view the results. So you can click on details and you can view the results of each die. Another thing you can do that would make it a much easier to view is you can click transfer EDS. And then if it, you, know, you have a USB stick or you have uh, the thermo connect, you can put it onto your computer and you can watch it off of desktop software. That's a, that's a much better way to view the data. A few things to keep in mind when you're calibrating if you calibrate regions of interest or the, or the die, and you did that mistakenly, you cannot roll back this unit to the previous plate. So make sure when you do this calibration, you have good die plates and you're ready to go. If you accidentally click some button and you calibrate based on the wrong die plate or you, you don't finish the calibration, you just brick your unit and it won't work until you get another die plate. Remember that. You have one chance to hit reject after it finishes, but if you accept it, then that's it. So when you take the die plate out of the box, uh, you're gonna want to thought right away. You can't just put it in the PCR right away. You're gonna want to thought for maybe like 15 minutes. After you thought, you're gonna want to vortex it for about five seconds, and then you want to spin it down. Um, they recommend about a thousand Gs to spin it down, but honestly, if you spin it down like you normally spin down any of your other methods, it's not gonna really make uh, much of a difference. And, you know, they're dies after all, so um, they're pretty robust and hardy. Once everything is spun down and thawed, um, you can go ahead and start your calibration. So this is what the die calibration run file looks like when you transfer it over to DA. Here are the different filters and here are the different dies, right? So you can look at FAM, you can look at rocks, you can look at cyber. What you're really looking for is a very, very tight band in these areas. So if the bands look tight, you're in pretty good shape. You can also look at the ROI here. You can see how well everything's lining up. You can also look at uh, the background. So th these are what the calibration files look like. Typically, the calibrations last a couple years, so it's not like you have to do it all the time, but you know, if something happens to your system, now you know what to do. See you in the next one. Thank you.